how do we embrace the chaos of the world that we're in today and move forward in a methodical and reasonable way? You know, so many people are suffering right now. We're losing our income. Uh, in many cases, our jobs. Maybe we're working from home and trying to be productive with kids crawling all over us. We're losing connections because we're all self-isolating. We're in a period of incredible psychological disorientation. We're in a period of legitimate fear. And we have to give each other the permission and the space to go through this grieving process. Because until we get to the final step of that grieving process, which is acceptance, we're not really going to be able to start working toward a new normal. And in our businesses and in our marketing, we're not going to be taking a strategic approach to what might be next. You know, I'm getting a lot of questions about how do we sell in this environment? And one of the comments I made was, how would you sell to somebody at a funeral? If you came up to somebody at a funeral and said, hey, uh, I've got this new online uh, thing that I'm selling and it's 25% off today. That just isn't right right now. It, it's just not going to connect the people in, 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 in an appropriate way. You'd say something like this. I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm here for you. How can I help you right now? That's what people want to hear. And I think that's the right approach. Relevance is a big idea right now. We need to reframe and reimagine our businesses based on what is going on now. We need to take a deep look at our core strengths and skills to see how can we apply this in new and creative ways. I saw an example from uh, U-Haul. We have millions of college students in America who are being uh, evicted from their dormitory rooms or their apartments because the universities are closing down and that is a new unmet need so what's you all doing they've made this offer that look if you're a college student getting evicted from your dormitory or your apartment we'll give you one month uh, rental space for free i can't sugarcoat things it's a really hard time but i want you to fight I want you to help others, help your customers. And most of all, as leaders today, we don't need to be cheerleaders. We don't need to sugarcoat things. Transparent and honest communication is absolutely critical right now. But as leaders, we can also dispense hope. Fear is contagious like this virus. But so is hope.